new hope in the fight against pancreatic cancer. The American Cancer Society says there are more than 64,000 new cases in the U.S. each year. Roughly 95% of patients die from it because the disease is hard to detect in the early stages. However, new this morning, Remy Murray explains researchers at university hospitals think Mary Poppins may have been onto something when her spoonful of sugar theory came to light. We think that it's a promising line of investigation. Dr. Jordan Winter tells me he's feeling hopeful after discovering promising news that could help those battling pancreatic cancer. Increased glucose levels um, are associated with improved response to standard conventional chemotherapy. Winter says this investigation is still in the very beginning stages, but this is what research has shown thus far. We increased the glucose levels of mice. We made them hyperglycemic, like a diabetic. And we did that just by increasing the concentration of glucose in their drinking water. We um, injected these mice with pancreatic cancer. And we found that when we gave them lower doses, low doses of chemotherapy, the chemotherapy worked really well. Uh, and when the sugar levels were normal in those mice, it didn't work so well. So exactly how will this work on humans? The next step for us is to test that hypothesis to see if it can do that. Pancreatic cancer is one of the most difficult cancers to treat. It's also extremely resistant to chemotherapy. But Winner says they couldn't understand why. So university hospitals did research, which led them to this discovery about glucose when fighting against pancreatic cancer. If conditions are really uh, nutrient deprived ordinarily, and that's what's driving resistance to chemotherapy. Why can't we just sensitize the cancer to chemotherapy by making the conditions more favorable and increasing the level of nutrients, which hopefully would essentially deactivate that force field. Winter understands it may seem strange for doctors to allow patients to have high levels of blood sugar. But he says it could be key in saving people's lives who have pancreatic cancer. It does look like it can help at least in animal experiments. While there's still more research to be done, Elisa Warshe, who volunteers with Cleveland's Pancreatic Cancer Action Network, says she's optimistic something can be found after losing her dad to pancreatic cancer in 2017. I know that um, university hospitals uh, does quite a bit of research on pancreatic cancer and has a real passion for getting to some better treatments and um, solutions to help people live longer um, and even develop, hopefully, a uh, diagnostic test sometime in the future. Winter expects to begin clinical trials on this study sometime next year. For News 5, I'm Remy Murray reporting.